Hi there, Maureen from Color Me Positive PLR, and this is just a really quick tutorial um, to show you how to use colors that you may find on a website that you really like and you'd like to use in your presentations, on your book covers, um, or wherever, wherever else. And you do this in PowerPoint with the color picker. Okay, so I just threw up three heart, uh, three, one, two, three, four heart shapes here, and I'll show you how I go about doing this. So you just want to click on your heart. Now, what you want to do is minimize your PowerPoint. Okay, so you can see a website or a picture that you've come upon and you love the colors. Now, I really love the combination of the colors in the spring bird with the greens and the blues and the pinks. So I could download this picture and then bring it into PowerPoint and then use the color picker over there and then delete it and all that after that. But this is an easier way, okay? At least for me. So what you want to do is click on your shape or picture or wherever you want to add the color. You can go to shape format here, go to shape fill, go to eyedropper, Okay, now instead, you, you want to click like you normally would, but don't let the button go. Just hold it down and then bring it over. And you see how it changes colors here? Awesome, right? So we're going to change the color to that. And then I want to change the shape outline. I do want a shape outline, so I'm going to come back to the eyedropper. Hold the the mouse button down, drag it on over, okay? And it's changed it to that. I think I'll make this a little more fancy, just make it a little more weight. Maybe add a sketched outline to it, okay? So I'll do it again with the next three hearts so you kind of get a sense of how to do it and how easy it is. So you click on the shape you want to change the color for, go to shape format, shape fill, eyedropper, click and hold that down, drag it over, and let's do a pink, baby pink, okay, then I want to change the shape outline, go to the eyedropper, click and hold it down, drag it over, let's do, hmm. Okay, and do what you want with the outline. I'm going to make it a really big shape outline. Then I might come over and do some dots. That's kind of cool. Okay, so click on the shape. Go to Shape Fill, Eyedropper. Click and hold your mouse button down. And choose the color anywhere on the website that you'd like. Okay. And you can do it for the shape outline, eyedropper. Click and hold the button down. And then let it go when you have the color you want selected. Okay. Let's do shape outline, go to sketched. Okay. And fourth and final one. So you're on shape format. Shape Fill, Eyedropper, click and hold your mouse button down, and let's do maybe a brighter pink, okay, and then Shape, shape Outline, Eyedropper, click and hold your mouse button, and then click anywhere on the picture you want to pick the color up from, okay, and then play with your shape, your lines, whatever you, you want to do with them. I mean, you wouldn't be using this if you were doing like um, an activity book or something, right? Um, because you would want that in black and white. But for your covers, uh, if you're doing stuff for your Etsy shop and you want to add different colors and, you know, this is just a really easy way to do it if you come upon an image that you really love the colors but have no use for the image itself. 
Uh, so for me, this this is a keeper. These colors, I love them. I love the combination of the colors. So this was fun to do. And I hope it gives you some ideas.